गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट देर आर बेसिक एंड जनरल कंसेप्ट ऑफ द केमिस्ट्री इन विच वी हैव सीन एटॉमिक वेट ग्राम एटॉमिक वेट देन अ मास नंबर एटॉमिक नंबर डो नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन मोलार सोल्यूशन एंड मोलर सोल्यूशन फॉलोड बाय वी हैव सीन अ मोलैरिटी मोलैलिटी देन देर इज वॉट इज सोलवेंट वॉट इज सोल्यूट एंड इट विल कम सोलवेंट एंड सोल्यूट कंबाइनली फॉर्म solution so i hope you people have just gone through it now today we are going to see one of the important concept a uh, nice nothing but a bond bonding is important dr saurabh joshi here working as a head and associate professor in department of civil and environmental engineering so the we are going to understand the basic concept of the bonds types of the bonds and how the bonds are formed okay so bonding is important in human life as well as so non living non living things and living things everywhere the bonding is important unless and until bond is non form we cannot come to the any kind of solution okay so there is a chemical bonding there is a physical bonding there is a biological bonding today we are going to see a bonding in terms of a chemical things so there are two types of bond strong bond and weak bond so strong bond is again categorized as a ionic bond covalent bond coordinate bond metallic bond then there is a weak bond weak bond consist of hydrogen bond and there is a van der waals force of interaction or there is a van der waal force of attraction which is always weak one so we are going to see first bond is nothing but ionic bond the electrostatic force of attraction which holds the two oppositely ions together is called as a ionic bond so ionic bond is a attraction between or the interaction between a positive and negative ion so there is a one you can see at the left side and the right side at the left side there there is a outermost orbit for that particular atom and also right side there is a outermost orbit for an atom so the left side atom is going to give one electron to the right side atom and form a bond so why right side atom is going to accept please remember electron donor and electron acceptor in the next uh, lecture we are going to see a redox reaction in that we are going to see what is a donor and what is a acceptor now why right side atom is going to take a, a electron from left side atom because in a 12th chemistry you have seen that there is a hybridization how the molecules are formed how the atoms are formed how the nuclei is going to form so it has got a standard definition it is a mixing and recasting of the atomic orbital having same spins of the electron when they overlap on each other they have got a maximum orientation and minimum symmetry in the space so that right side atom in his outermost orbit there are seven electron as soon as it will get a one electron then its octet is complete and once its octet is complete that electron becomes stable so every atom is that atom is become stable every atom is going to always think about the stability so left side atom is going to give one electron to the right side atom and the combined molecules are formed so important thing is nothing but they are having a electrostatic force of attraction and this bond is always formed between positive and negative ions should we go ahead then next is a covalent bond a covalent bond is formed by the equal sharing of the electron from both participating atom it is very difficult to have a equal sharing in our human being human being is a selfish person on this earth because human doesn't go for sharing he always wants some extra but in non living thing it is won't be like that so you can see over here in a covalent bond so unpaired valence electron is there and the sharing of available valence electron is there so atom a in his outermost orbit there are seven electrons atom b in his outermost orbit there is a seven electrons so for both of these atom required one one electron to form the octet now what they are going instead of they are going for the ionic bond they are mutual understanding they are good mutual understanding they share their electron with each other and both are going to form a a, a, a molecule and in his outermost orbit there will be a eight electron so you can see here sharing of available valence electron it will form a covalent molecule in ionic bond it will form a ionic molecule in covalent bond it will form a Uh, a covalent molecule then third bond is a polar covalent bond 
it is somewhat difficult to understand but a polar covalent bond is bond between two atoms where electron forming the bond unequally distributed okay there is one important concept named as electronegativity what is electronegativity that we are going to see in the next lecture but when polar covalent bond is formed if the electronegativity varies between 0.5 to 2 then the polar bonds are formed now you can see over here then there is a one atom which is made up of non metal so and there is another atom which is made up of a metal then then uh, a atom has a more uh, electronegativity and b has a less electronegativity they comes together and there is unequal sharing of valence electron takes place and it, they are form a polar covalent bond the range is important the electronegativity varies between 0.5 to 2 then only polar covalent bonds are formed now vice versa next bond is a non-polar covalent bond then a non-polar covalent bond is formed between two atoms where electron forming the bonds are equally distributed in the last slide it was unequally distributed in this there is a equally distribution then what is the criteria for it the electronegativity is less than 0.5 then only non-polar covalent bond is formed so you can see over in the last diagram a atom has a, le a more electronegativity b atom has a less electronegativity here there is both atoms are having a equal electronegativity but the resultant should be less than 0.5 so you can see two identical atoms which are made up of non metal so there is unpaired valence electron in in both of the atom the outermost orbit seven electrons are there then there must be a sharing if the sharing is equally then we call it as a non-polar covalent bond if the sharing is unequally then we call it as a, a, a polar covalent bond so at the final we can see the, it will form a non-polar covalent molecule so here we can stop the lecture dear student the question for today is explain in detail various types of bond along with the net sketch thank you